Hi, this is Steve here. I just got this Seth Thomas wall clock. It's beautiful. It's a um, cherry cherrywood case, beveled glass. Uh, it's got a cable drawn movement and spring time and strike. Uh, now it's a Seth Thomas clock and all you clock and aficionados will immediately say one second here, Seth Thomas never made a clock like that. Well, you're kind of right. Uh, this clock, and I'll show you the dial up close and the pendulum. This clock was, is about 20 years old and it was made under the general time corporation for Seth Thomas, and they used a Hermley movement. Now, Hermley made movements for Seth Thomas after 1979 when their plant flooded, and uh, they couldn't compete with the German product of the day, so they just uh, teamed up with uh, Hermley uh, to produce clocks. And by that time, the 70s, uh, nobody really wanted uh, winding clocks as much anymore. They were past their due date. So, this clock was made uh, in Germany. Uh, the, the movement is stamped, General Time Corporation, for Seth Thomas, Thomaston, Connecticut, USA. So, but it's a Hermley movement, for sure. It looks like a Hermley Laredo, for instance, very similar. Just let me show you the dial here. The dial says Seth Thomas, of course. And it's got a beautiful pendulum. There's the weights, all brass, cable driven in the center. And look at that pendulum. It's engraved, it says ST, and it's at the bottom it says since 1813. So it has glass on the sides. All the case glass is beveled. It's just unbelievably gorgeous. There's the movement in the hammers. It's just the most beautiful clock I I own for sure. I got a couple here I'll show you. Uh but this thing is so beautiful. Um uh, but I don't bite my head off for saying it's a Seth Thomas cuz you know it is by default but really it's a Hermley. There's the book I got with it, all the instructions diamond collection now i looked on the internet i could not find anything on this that's why i'm making this video i have the brass key and a beautiful crank for the center the center arbor okay it's just just mint totally mint and then here i'll show you my other clocks here quickly that i have downstairs this is a barrigo ship's clock eight strike uh i just got this too it was i bought it from a lady near here and it was sitting above her shelf. Her husband had passed away several years ago. It had a thick crust of dust in that. And she goes, I don't even know what to do with it. Just, uh, I just want to sell it. I'm decluttering. So I, it looked like it was tarnished, but it was just a little bit of dust. And I took a very fine cream abrasive cleaner, very, very fine. And I just rubbed it with a really good cloth. And look at how beautiful it came. Just beautiful. A burrigo. It's the ship's bell. It uh, it um, rings the strike of the of the watch, eh? Up to eight bells. It's just just gorgeous. Love this clock. And I just just got this. I'll sh oh, there's the Thomas going off. Just gorgeous and then i'll show you my other clock now this clock i built in 1983 it was a kit clock from new england clock company uh, it's supposed to emulate a sessions uh calendar drop octagon calendar clock and uh, i made this for my parents 35th wedding anniversary and it was actually the night jr got shot on tv if you remember that and anyways uh, that's the night I built this clock, and I didn't uh, verithane it or or spire varnish it or anything. I just put um, uh, I just put tongue oil on it, tongue oil finish, and it's oak. 
and uh, it's starting to come apart from dryness and that. So I want to redo it all, polish all the brass. You see the, the brass is tarnished and everything. And I'd like to polish that, that, uh, uh, I'd like to polish that pendulum bob, but it, it's a gorgeous clock. Uh, I just love this clock and I had it in the back room and I just recently took it out to uh, revisit it and then I decided to hang it up and I, and, uh, I've got my clock bug back. So I'm really pleased with the Seth Thomas wall regulator. I just, I just love it. It's just gorgeous and, uh, many, many years of enjoyment. I hope leave a comment if you have anything to say. Thanks a lot. Bye.